Before I get started with this video, I just wanted y'all to see something real quick. Something I'm seeing right now. I know my phone never does pick up things as pretty as it is, but this is a very pretty scene for me. All these Christmas trees and that pretty sunset back there. This is some peace of mind, especially this time of the year. A time of peace. And uh, after this year, I'm ready for a little bit of peace of mind. Peace and quiet. Yeah. It's been a, been a challenging year. Um, I'd like to address Team Aquarius and people in Shed Wars in general for a couple of things. Um... <laughs> John and I have gone through everything and we've got we got an ambulance here y'all hang on man loud mufflers okay maybe that's gone for now John and I have done all the calculations and indeed uh, we let him win okay we let John win. That's what I'm gonna think. Uh, Will It Grow, Team Will It Grow has won. They beat us by just a little bit. And I'm telling you what, it didn't, it looked like we were gonna win. Team Aquarius was gonna win. But no matter whether you're on one team or the other, everybody's on the same team. We're all on Team Shed Wars. And we all stand together as one family, one community. Um, I'm very proud of all of you. Very thankful that for all of you folks that have joined us in this, regardless of your team. Uh, team Will It Grow had 18,535 pounds. Team Aquarius had 17,948 pounds. Now let me do the math real quick for you. 587 pounds is all that separated us. That's amazing right there. Uh, it was actually a little bit closer and then it widened out a little bit. Um, it's been an incredible year. It's been a year to overcome things and a year to press on regardless of who stands against us. And I'm proud of each and every one of you no matter who you are. Um, and, and to the folks that qualified in the end, that completed all the things that they needed to do, followed the rules, we're very proud of you folks. But I'll tell you what, there's some people that it breaks my heart that I could not put them on the qualifier's side because of the rules. They tried hard. They missed certain things. And you've got to follow the rules. Um, we can't just make it for only the pretty ones, you know, to make it, you know, and then the ones that are slightly not as pretty or whatever, plain. The rules apply to everyone, no matter who you are. That's the only way to be fair. And whatever that is, is gorgeous, and I want one of them. If you know what it is, let me know. What is that? What is it? The rules apply equally to everyone. And I could not just approve the people that I knew tried so hard. I won't call them out, but they're there. And uh, they've got a very good spirit. And um, uh, there's a lot of people that have joined us and, and have let us know how much it meant to them or it means to them to be a part of our community. And I thank you. That, that really, really helps. Um, really helps this old guy's heart to know that, that we can have some effect like that. But... Shed Wars is a community. 
that has grown around a unique competition, a global collaboration and competition to teach the world how to grow their own food again. Now, I say that, and I would like for you to keep in mind, each and every one of you, as you make your official Shed Wars videos where we're teaching gardening, that you do remember that, okay? It's all about teaching people how to grow their food. There are other kind of videos that we can make, but please um, use the videos to teach people. Um, I can't stress that enough. That is our core, you know, thing. We do have other other videos that we make, but those ones that really count for the competition, um, they need to teach. So, it's been a challenge. Every, every year it's a challenge, but this year is even more so. I'm rambling a little bit here. Um, I wanted to mention also that these totals included our volunteers from the Southern Hemisphere. They finished out their year and came up here and joined us on Team Aquarius. And that was uh, Jandera Homestead and, um, and Bibby with um, frugal prepping with Bibby Down Under, I think. She just changed her name of her channel, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. And my apologies to you, Bibby. That's old man brain once again kicking in here. Isn't it pretty here? You know, the pretty little gazebo. I love this place right here. Even though it's in between what is apparently uh, the muffler challenge area of my state. Uh, you got to have a loud muffler, apparently. Um... But it's a beautiful night here, and uh, pretty soon these Christmas trees will be gone. And at the end of December, another opportunity is going to be gone too. And that is the volunteer program for the Southern Hemisphere. If you completed Shed Wars 21 and qualified for the prize on either team, then you can volunteer to continue to grow and teach and weigh your food um, and count in the Shed Wars 22 season uh, for the Southern Hemisphere teams. That's going on right now. And as I've said many times, it's all about community. So if you are, are part of us and what we're doing, please find the the channels that are down in the southern hemisphere australia africa new zealand any place down there that we have people right now teaching how to grow food and support those folks uh you know you hear me saying that a lot community is important to us we want to help one another january 1st is the deadline for your volunteer videos if I haven't said it already. Um, and here's something else for you. Now, everyone that, every Shed Warrior that was with us in Shed Wars 21, if you're in good standing, you did not have to qualify for the prize, okay? If you're in good standing and you are uh, going to be with us next year or, you know, this year, which has already started, Shed Wars 22, uh, in the spring in the Northern Hemisphere, then you can go out and hunt, you can go fish, you can forage all this winter long, this fall and winter and spring before we get started and record that weight. Make videos if you want to um, and you can record that weight and that weight will come with you into the new season when we start up in the spring you can roll up in there with your deer or whatever else you've done through the winter so i'm about to run out of time here i appreciate you you folks for watching if you've got any questions at all comments leave them down there and i'll get you the answer i thank you all for watching and i hope you all will have a very merry christmas
Y'all be good.